Boa tarde a todos. O Comitê Técnico de Implementação de Software Livre apresenta agora a palestra técnica Linux na nuvem, usando Linux em uma nuvem pública, com o Tinesh Varia. Tinesh Varia eh, ajuda as empresas a tirar eh, partido de tecnologias como Cloud Computer e já participou de mais de 150 conferências ao redor do mundo. Ele é um apaixonado pela arquitetura, design e serviços web XML e está focado em promover a conscientização de serviços web, ajudando empresas, startups e universidades. Com 15 anos de experiência em XML e serviços web, tem trabalhado para o XBRL, que é um padrão que serve para a comunicação de dados financeiros. Ocupou vários cargos, tais como arquiteto de soluções, líder de equipe e engenheiro de software em vários projetos de serviços financeiros. Tem artigos publicados na Association for Compute Machine e no Advancing Technology of Humanity. Tá? Hoje ele trabalha na Amazon. Só uma coisa, gente, por favor, é, não sei se está transmitindo, mas quem tiver perguntas, né, levanta a mão para que a gente leve o microfone para que seja é, escutado para todos. Se a, 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 o pessoal da Assis está funcionando, então podem enviar perguntas via Twitter para o sisligovbr ou pelo e-mail sisli.gov.br. Dinesh? Thank you very, very much. That's a cool She said everything was nice, right? <laughs> tudo que ela disse foi legal. Você dando para me ouvir? Okay, um, thank you very, very much for uh, inviting. I'm Dinesh uh, Waria. I live in Seattle and um, I, uh, I'm fo I have been in Amazon since five years now, focusing on uh, a variety of different projects within Amazon.com. É, muito obrigado por estarem aqui. É, eu trabalho na Amazon.com. É, agradeço muito a presença de todos vocês. Okay. Um, so today we are going to talk about uh, just a little bit about an overview of what sort of cloud computing is. Hoje nós vamos ver um pouco sobre o que é cloud computing and how free and open source a uh, movement has actually accelerated due to cloud computing. E como software livre ajudou a acelerar o cloud computing. And it is actually the best of both the worlds and how uh, cloud computing is actually benefited by open source as well. Nós vamos ver o melhor dos dois mundos e vamos ver eh, que benefícios a gente pode tirar disso. Right. Um, I have a strong Indian accent as well as uh, Eu tenho um acento indiano muito forte. In, an English accent. So, uh, if you have any questions, uh, no, I, I, I originally come from India, but I'm not going to talk about how you know that Indians. Uh, <laughs> eu vim, eu originalmente da Índia, mas eu não vou falar sobre o caminho das Índias. <laughs> vocês estão vendo aí na frente. Um, I'm going to talk about the cloud. Vou falar sobre nuvens. So, cloud today is seeing exponential growth. Today we have customers in 190 countries. Nós temos um crescimento exponencial de cloud computing e já temos é, implantado em inúmeros países. Uh, including Brazil, and that's why we are here and we are you know, evangelizing and talking to lots of people as well. Inclusive no Brasil, como já tive a oportunidade de falar com várias pessoas. Just, just anybody in the room, it's a, how many people are aware of cloud computing? Quantos aqui conhecem cloud computing? Yeah. How many people are using Amazon Web Services? Alguém usa os serviços da Amazon? Oh, nice, we have one. Very good. I, I thought it might not be because it's government and other. But this is enormous... Um, opportunity and potential in cloud computing and, and the reason it is so much exciting today is, uh, is because it is a new technology and, and it's a newer way of doing things. É, 
uma forma muito excitante de visualizar e fazer as coisas hoje em dia. So, I really like to talk about analogies all the time. Eu gosto, eu gostaria muito de falar sobre analogias. And and the reason it is people are so much excited about cloud computing is I tell you an analogy that happened in the electrical industry. É, eu vou mostrar uma analogia do que aconteceu numa indústria elétrica. So, in the photograph, what you are actually seeing is our uh, CEO visiting a beer manufacturing company in Belgium. Aqui é o nosso céu visitando uma fábrica de cervejas na Bélgica. And what you are seeing in the photograph is an electric generator that they used 100 years ago. É um gerador elétrico usado 100 anos atrás que vocês estão vendo aí. Right now, this electric generator is running is in the museum of the brew, of the brewery. Hoje em dia, ele se encontra no museu da cervejaria. Hundred years ago, there was no such electric grid, power grid, electrical industry or utility industry today uh, at that time. So they had to generate their own electricity in order to do their business. Cem anos atrás, não havia é essa distribuição de energia elétrica que existe hoje. Então eles precisavam do seu próprio gerador. So, it is very important to understand that generating their own electricity didn't make that beer taste any better. Gerando energia elétrica não fazia com que a cerveja ficasse melhor. Did it, did it, did it make any if I was it fazia? Did, did I, if I generate my own electricity in my basement versus use the utility industry electricity, did the beer taste any better? Faz alguma diferença no sabor da cerveja se eu tiver o meu próprio gerador? So this is the point that I really like because these are the things that are not adding any differentiated um, value to your business. Eu não estou adicionando um valor diferenciado ao negócio. This is what we are seeing in the computing industry now. This is presenting the data centers, the, the computing infrastructure and so forth. É isso que a gente pode ver nos data centers na, na indústria de computação em geral. Today the customers and, and people are actually you know, having their own data centers for their own needs. But there is no added value to that business itself. As pessoas têm os seus próprios data centers, é, cada um usa o seu, mas isso não adiciona valor ao negócio deles. So computing is becoming a utility today. Computação está virando um utilitário hoje. But that's just what I, I feel the benefits of the cloud are. And if you understand the benefits, you will clearly define the cloud. É isso que eu vejo como benefício das nuvens. E se vocês entenderem isso, vocês vão ficar beneficiados também. So, there are four benefits that I really like. First and foremost, that it lowers your cost as a computing um, infrastructure. Esses são os quatro benefícios. Tá? O primeiro é custos mais baixos because there is no hardware to buy no real estate to buy no powering no cooling nothing to do porque não é preciso comprar equipamento não é preciso se preocupar com a temperatura do equipamento esse tipo de coisa so there is no capital expenditure up front então não há gastos de capital the second most important thing and some of my, one of my favorites is the fact that you can get thousands of resources for you. Você também pode conseguir é, milhares de recursos para si. Then you need it, and then get rid of it when you don't need it. E quando não quiser mais, você simplesmente dispensa. So, so it reduces your time to market, and you can do lots of computation, lots of uh, hosting, lots of web application without worrying about no waiting anymore. Vocês podem fazer todas as uh, aplicações, usar todos os aplicativos uh, sem se preocupar uh, com gastos. And the third thing which is very important is 
it, it actually removes the differ undifferentiated heavy lifting and helps you focus on what you do the best. Dessa forma você pode focalizar só naquilo que você faz melhor. Yeah. And the last and the most important one is is it is a foundation for 21st century architectures. E finalmente é uma fundação para o século 20 para arquiteturas do século 21. Uh, so when you see that the data is exploding, it's like a tsunami, you know, lots and lots of data coming in, mobile applications and so forth. Da dados hoje em dia são como tsunamis é, aumentando é, de montão. Uh, that's that's why we need better cloud-based architectures in order to compute, store, network, and so forth. É por isso nós precisamos aprimorar o cloud computing. Right. So this is just a quick uh, overview of what a cloud computing from a business standpoint is. Now, now let's see from the technical point of view why cloud computing is so attractive to architects and software developers. Essa foi uma visão é, do negócio, agora vamos ver um pouco da visão técnica de cloud computing. And these are the attributes that I, I like about it and why it is so important. First one is, uh, now these are five things again. Aqui tem mais cinco atributos que me interessam. So you're treating them as abstract resources. There are no servers, there are no hardware, there are you no know, instances and there are volumes. São recursos abstratos, sem servidores, sem hard drives, sem instâncias e volumes. The, and when you combine the power of abstract resources, servers, volumes, with on-demand provisioning, you get this much more powerful model to work with. Dessa forma você consegue potencializar o seu trabalho ao máximo. And with the security baked into your application. And security? Security baked into the application architecture. E eu acréscimo a segurança também. The scalability is happening within minutes. You get massive amounts of computation when you need it, and then you can scale and be elastic. Você pode ser elástico, você pode eh, usar quantidades de dados muito grandes ou pequenas à medida da sua necessidade. You are only paying for what you use. Você só paga por aquilo que você usa. By the gigabyte, by the hour, by the queries, by the data transfer you use. Pelos gigabytes, pelas horas, etc. By the hour uh, usage and so forth. Uh, and everything has an API. E tudo tem um API. So you can automate your infrastructure with your code and make interesting architecture so it automatically scales for you. Então você pode escalar da forma que for mais conveniente para si. So these are the things that I like about cloud computing from a technical standpoint, and now I'm going to go more deeper into some of these as well. Então essas são as coisas que eu gosto na computação de nuvens. But before I go here, I wanted to share a, a, a small survey that we did within Amazon. Uh, eu gostaria antes de prosseguir mostrar alguma coisa que a respeito da Amazon. We did the research. Amazon has you know, 30,000 uh, plus employees, and so lots of them are software developers. A Amazon tem 30 mil funcionários, e a maioria são desenvolvedores de software. And we asked them, uh, how much time are you really spending on your real thing that you have to do, software coding, versus how much time you are actually doing like server planning, hardware design, hardware management, buying the hardware and so forth. E a gente pergunta a eles, quanto tempo vocês realmente gastam nas suas atividades? And we found out that 30% of the, of the time was actually being spent in doing the things that matter the most to the business. Então só 30% foi gasto naquilo que realmente é necessário. And 70% of the time was really spent over and over again doing the same things like server, hardware, powering, cooling, management and all of these 
things. E 70% foi gasto em gerenciamento de, de hardware, software, é, cooling, o computador, etc. So, cloud really allows you to flip that switch so that you can spend more time doing the things that matter the most. Cloud pode exatamente inverter é, essa função. Você gasta 70% no que você realmente necessita. So now let's understand a little bit, now that we have a little bit of overview of cloud computing, now the benefits and the technical benefits, let's understand what's really available. Vamos ver agora o que realmente temos de disponível. There are, you know, variety of different physical infrastructure in different parts of the world. Nós temos estrutura física em diferentes partes do mundo. And we are continuously expanding in multiple regions around the world. And we are also thinking, you know, whether it is the right place for China, India, Brazil and all other places as well. Estamos expandindo pelo mundo todo em lugares como China, Brasil, Índia e outros. On the top of that infrastructure, there are raw infrastructure services available for everybody in all businesses for all sizes. No topo dessa estrutura, eh, temos a estrutura crua. And I will go, these are you know, categorized into compute, storage, network, database. É, temos é, computação, armazenamento, é, rede e database. So, Amazon EC2 is standing for Elastic Compute Cloud. EC2 é Elastic é, Compute Cloud, computação elástica. I'm going to focus on Elastic Compute Cloud today. Eu vou focar nisso. But there are a number of other services focused on highly distributed redundant data stores mas temos várias outras é, possibilidades which is amazon s3 stands for simple storage service é, como por exemplo amazon 3 é, simple storage é, service service there are you no know, amazon for network there is amazon vpc which is a virtual private cloud. É, temos a Amazon VPC que é, é nuvem virtual. Yeah. And this is the network isolation layer. So network virtualization. É a camada da, da rede é, de virtualização. Yeah. There is Elastic Load Balancer, DNS service. Elastic uh, Load Balance. Uh, Root service, uh, DNS service, uh, DNS, uh, and then there is managed database services that allow you to manage relational databases. E a gente pode é, mexer também com a base de dados. Likewise, there are variety of different services that do specific tasks for you, which is Amazon Elastic MapReduce is a parallel computing framework. Nós temos também a uh, Amazon Elastic MapReduce, que é uh, processamento paralelo. And then there are several other services which you can take online. Top, uh, there are lots of information online on our websites, like email service, S notification service, and queuing services. Também temos possibilidade de entrar em contato com os clientes a, a, através é, dessas é, features aí. There are lots of monitoring and uh, authentication and identity and access management services. Já temos monitoramento, a, a, autenticação e, e deployment automation. And there are, and the ways in which you access these services is that there are libraries and SDKs, web management console, tools, and command line interfaces. Temos é, bibliotecas, é, interface web, ferramentas e interface de comando de linhas. So this, as you can see, these are the services that make that you can use to build an application. Esses são serviços que servem para construir uma aplicação. 
So I'll give you the one of the most important takeaway today is that flexibility is the most important thing when you want to use the cloud. A coisa mais importante é a flexibilidade quando você quer usar as nuvens. Why is important because it should give you the ability to run any operating system, any programming paradigm, Java, Ruby, Python, or any uh, no database. Que você pode rodar com isso é, qualquer base de dados, qualquer sistema operacional. Remember, all these services that I talked about are all no, uh, having an API to access these services, as well as they're all paid for what you use. É, esses serviços são todos é, pagos pelo que você usa. So now there are multiple advantages that you can use any service. If you just want compute, you can use compute. If you want storage, storage, you can use storage and so forth. Se você quer usar computação, você usa computação. Se você quer usar armazenamento, você usa armazenamento e assim por diante. So now let me go a little bit detail into one such service, which is now uh, very focused on free and open source software. Uh, vamos focar agora no no free software. So Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud is essentially virtualized instances that you get on demand for the for for pay for what you use. Então vamos falar de instâncias virtualizadas onde você paga por aquilo que você usa. Essentially there is infrastructure, there is a virtualization layer on the top, there is billing and metering and then there is APIs. Think of that four layer. Então nós temos essas camadas. Would you mind repeating? Sure, sure. I'm sorry. Yeah. There are four layers in this particular uh, quatro, service. Quatro camadas nesse tipo de serviço. There is hardware, which is there. Hardware. There is virtualization software. Virtualização de software. There is building and metering software. Construindo. And then there is APIs that will help e. you instantiate servers without calling anybody or filling e. up a form. APIs sem necessidade de você precisar telefonar para alguém. You essentially get computing capacity by just clicking buttons and managing servers. Basta apertar botões e gerenciar os serviços. So you get full root level access to that virtualized instance. É, você pode conseguir é, com, um completo root level para acessar a virtualização, a instância de virtualização. And you, you run for command line calls, like run instance command line call, and instantiate the server, which is essentially booting the server up. Você pode é, usar run instance para bootar o servidor para cima. And then you can have multiple of them kind of no, as you want to run multiple command line options. E você pode ter diversos deles. Um, so you can instantiate servers on the fly and keep it only for the hours you need. Então você pode instanciar e manter só as horas que você deseja. Or you go and actually keep it running for the time but you still pay only by the hour. Você consegue executar, mas paga só pelas horas. So you can do variety of different things like web application development, you know, cluster computing, all of those things. Então você pode executar todas essas coisas como web application, é, cluster, Clus cluster computing, computing, high performance computing, performance, alta performance, and and run any operating system on these run, on these environment. Executar qualquer sistema operacional. So there are a number of things that you do think about EC2. And uh, no, essentially one of the most important aspect about EC2 is Amazon at machine images. A coisa mais importante que a gente tem no EC2 é, é imagens da máquina Amazon. So what you can do with images is essentially you can package up the entire stack from the operating system to the software into an Amazon machine image. Você pode empacotar the operating system to the software 
and that thing can be packaged into an Amazon machine image. E fazer a Amazon, Amazon machine image, a máquina de imagens da Amazon. So if you have a PHP stack, for example, a LAMP stack. Então se você tiver um PHP é, é, pilha e Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, all free open source. É, Linux, PHP, é, Apache, my, P, my, Apache, Apache, LAMP software. stacks, or, or, software yeah, all the open software. Uh, you can Python, no MySQL or Java. É, com Python, MySQL, Java. And then bundle that Amazon into an Amazon machine image. E juntar tudo na Amazon machine image. And then you can say, I want this particular Amazon machine image in five EC2 instances, and it will clone that infrastructure for you. Uh, eu posso jogar isso, é, clonar em cinco diferentes ambientes. So the beauty is that you only have to do the configuration and installation once. Então você só precisa fazer a instalação uma vez. And then, can, and you can replicate that very quickly. E replicar tudo isso bastante rapidamente. And you can bake in all the security policies also in the same thing. Da mesma forma, as políticas de segurança. Every instance comes with a firewall. Todas as instâncias vêm dentro do firewall. And you decide which ports, protocols and, and uh, IP addresses you want to open for. E você decide os protocolos e os endereços IP. Once you instantiate that Amazon machine image into an instance, uma vez instanciado essa máquina, you can get root level access to that instance and log in to that Linux environment. Você pode conseguir root level a essas instâncias. And this is one of the fundamental reasons why cloud computing is so popular because you can get any type of server when you need it. Então, por isso que é tão popular, porque vocês podem conseguir o, 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 uh, o, o software que vocês precisam. There are a variety of different Amazon machine instance types. Tem vários tipos de instance types, tipo, tipos de... Depending upon your configuration you need for your application, you decide which instance type you need. Dependendo das suas necessidades, você vai escolher que tipo de instância você... That is a micro instance, which is free for everybody to use, uh, which has 600 MB of RAM. A primeira é livre, tem 613 megabytes. There are small, large, extra large, with different compute units. Pequenos, grandes, extra grandes. High memory, high CPU. Alta memória, alta CPU. Having different amount of computation, CPU, storage and uh, processing power. É, com diferentes é, potencialidades de processamento. So you can decide which instance type you want to instantiate this one Amazon machine image. Então você pode escolher de que forma você quer instanciar essa máquina Amazon. So the my favorite one is is the cluster compute EC2 instance type. A minha favorita é cluster é, EC, é, cluster compute EC2 instance type. Essa cluster computer. Why? Because it really is a perfect instance for doing any sort of massive com computation. É ótimo para fazer qualquer tipo de computação de massa. And it is networking as well as CPU. E é rede assim como CPU. It, it, it gives full bisection bandwidth between two EC2 instances, 10 gig Ethernet. Uh, uh, full bisection bandwidth between two EC2 instances. I'm so sorry. Dá o completo full bisection bandwidth. Bisection Not bandwidth. Non blocking IO. Non blocking IO. Yeah. So, uh, And you can instantiate all of these using APIs. 
So you can automate your infrastructure. Pode instanciar tudo usando APIs. So how does it all work? Como é que tudo isso funciona? So as soon as you sign up, fill up a small form. Assim que você sign up, você preenche um pequeno formulário. Click the button, put your credit card in there. Aperta o botão, bota o número do seu cartão de crédito. You sign up for an account, you log in. Você dá um sign up no seu log. You will see this dashboard, which is your your uh, web interface towards the services. Vocês vão ter esse formulário com essas informações. In the previous slide, I talked about all the different services that Amazon is providing. You can manage this using a point-and-click interface. Aqueles serviços todos que eu falei anteriormente estão todos descritos aqui. This is Amazon EC2, and this is the screen Essa for that. Essa é a Amazon EC2 e esse é o esquema. So you can see I have some instances running, some storage run, having some key pairs, load balancers, and so forth. Então, eu, aqui vocês podem ver que eu tenho instance, quanto, é, aquele número de instances rodando, é, volumes e assim por diante. This is your next generation of how you will provision your infrastructure. É, isso é uma próxima geração de como vocês vão é, providenciar sua infraestrutura. Today you have lots of time when you need an actual server for your for your testing and development. Is that right? Mm -hmm. you have, it will take a lot of time to get you a server. When you need a particular server, you have to fill up a form, you have to procurement, you have to do business analysis and all of that. Right? Yes. Yeah, well, o trabalho é bastante grande, vocês precisam preencher formulários, Right. Because uh, now you, every procurement form is actually changing to a provisioning service, a provisioning um, uh, form. É, todo formulário vai se transformar num serviço. There is no forms to fill out. There is nobody to you that you have to call. All you have to do is click buttons. É. Você não precisa telefonar para alguém, só apertar botões. So you click on the instance, say launch instance. Você clica naquele botão. And then you get an access to how many, lots and lots of Amazon machine images. E aí você tem acesso a todas essas máquinas Amazon. And you can run, uh, these are, there are more than 3,000 Amazon machine images available of every possible combination of Linux and other operating systems. Yeah, de todas as combinações, a gente tem um número de aproximadamente 3,000 máquinas, 3,000 combinações. You right click on one of the Amazon machine image. Você clica numa das imagens. And then decide what do you want. Do you want Amazon Linux app? Uh, which is a one more distribution of the Linux itself. E aí você seleciona que tipo de configuração você quer. Or you can choose any number of any distribution of Linux. Suzy Linux, Red Hat, CentOS OS and so forth. Basta escolher uma dessas opções. There are all Linux distribution, all popular Linux distributions are available as an Amazon machine image. É, todo tipo de é, distribuição é, estão disponíveis lá na Amazon. So you select the operating system that you need. Você seleciona o operating system que você precisa. You select what type of instance you need. Você seleciona que tipo de instância você precisa. And then select the security protocols around it to access that instance. Seleciona os protocolos de segurança necessários. And then you can quickly start an instance. E rapidamente você começa uma instância. Each instance has an IP address attached to it. Cada instância tem um endereçamento. These are the list of instances that I have, I am running in my. Essas são as que eu tenho executando na minha máquina. And and then you can simply log in to like any other distribution. Any other machine? Sorry. 
Aí você faz o login é, em qualquer tipo de máquina. I am an open source guy, I'm a free and open source guy almost, almost of my life. So I usually use all the Linux uh, tools. É, eu sou um cara de software, então geralmente eu uso ferramentas Linux. So what you just saw was within like five minutes you have an ability to launch and complete Elastic Data Center, either one or either hundreds of EC2 instances. Então, em apenas cinco minutos você consegue instanciar uh, todo o seu projeto. And then when you want to shrink back your cluster or you don't need the servers that you run, you can stop them. Então, quando você quer é, diminuir, é, você simplesmente é, executa. And this comes to our second you know, takeaway of my presentation, that free and open source software plus the cloud computing infrastructure is a perfect marriage. Então, aqui vem a segunda é, parte, onde diz que... Uh, Open source, software livre e nuvens são um casamento perfeito. Why? Because you can get any Linux distribution completely pre-configured with entire software stack in several Amazon machine images. Porque você pode conseguir é, qualquer ambiente Linux lá na Amazon. And you can create your own Amazon machine image as well and share it with your team members. Você pode criar também seus próprios ambientes e repartilhar com os colegas. So you don't have to do the same installation, configuration, management if somebody else has already done it for you. Então você não precisa reconfigurar tudo de novo se alguém já fez isso por você. So to give you an example of a simple web application, a LAMP stack. Então, para dar um exemplo aqui bem simples, using the services that I just talked about, including Amazon EC2, usando as ferramentas que eu acabei de mostrar, this is a simple architecture for a web application. Essa é uma arquitetura simples para uma aplicação web. So you have a simple web website. Você tem um simples website. It is sitting, it is using the load balancer. Ele usa o load balancer. It, it has a simple EC2 instance. It has a simple EC2 instance. Running Linux, Apache, Tomcat. Uh, using Apache, Tomcat. I'm sorry, this is a Java application. This is a typo there. É uma aplicação Java. There is a database. Uma base de dados. And they are storing all the static data. You're storing your lo logs on Amazon S3. Uh, Storage okay. service. Os dados estáticos estão armazenados aqui. You're storing all your video, audio, JavaScript file in a, in a content delivery network. CloudFront is a CDN. É, vídeo, áudio, está tudo armazenado na Amazon Cloud Front. And what you have is this interesting thing called auto-scaling group. E vocês têm essa coisa interessante aqui chamada auto-scaling group. The beauty about the cloud is everything is an API. Tudo está em API. So you can configure your servers such that you have you can set the auto scaling service. Você pode configurar seu. Uh, you can configure your auto scaling service. Auto scaling service. And tell the service that if the server goes 85% and above. It is a CPU utilization. Que a, a medida que chegar a 85% da utilização. I want the service to automatically start this new Amazon machine image. Eu, eu peço para que ele comece automaticamente essa nova Amazon Con image. Connect that to the load balancer. Conectar isso no low balancer. And automatically scale your horizontally your web server feed. E automaticamente escalar a, a, a sua Amazon é, frota. At the same time, you can do downward threshold, uh, lower threshold. E automaticamente é, fazer o... Lower, you can, you can specify the lower limit and say... 
if goes 20% and below of CPU utilization, e se tiver, por exemplo, menos de 20% de utilização, I want to turn back my EC2 instances back, terminate my EC2 instances. Posso reescalar a minha EC2 instance. So I can be more elastic without having to call anybody. Então eu posso ser mais elástico sem precisar chamar alguém. And scale back down so that I can save on my infrastructure. Ou diminuir para para aumentar a minha infraestrutura. And Linux distributions and other services work really very well because I'm using all the free and open source software to manage this. E para isso eu uso o software livre para fazer esse gerenciamento. So this is a simple example of how you can actually build a highly scalable web application. Então isso é um bom exemplo de como você pode construir eh uh, um, uma aplicação altamente escalável. At the same time, because you are using some other services like Amazon RDS, e pelo fato de usar outros serviços como o Amazon RDS, and because it is a relational database the they don't scale horizontally as the web server fleet scales que escala horizontalmente you have variety of other services that help you do vertical scaling as well as add more storage with just few clicks on the database which mind ah so you can you can have multiple horizontal um smart obter multiples horizontais uh, you can scale your database on their vertical escalar uh, verticalmente e horizontalmente or you can add no more storage ou, ou acrescentar mais uh, armazenamento all that happening with one tudo, click on the console tudo acontecendo com um simples clique so that way you are building a highly scalable infrastructure as well as an efficient infrastructure. Então você constrói uma infraestrutura muito eficiente. So very interesting architectures exist because of this type of architectures. Por causa disso a gente tem é, arquiteturas muito interessantes. For example, you can build a web application that sleeps at night. Por exemplo, você pode construir uma aplicação que dorme à noite. When nobody is using it. Quando ninguém usa. Or shrink your servers from 10 to 2 when nobody is using it. Ou então, é, diminuir a aplicação de 10 para 2 quando ninguém usa. So that way you can make more elastic applications. As aplicações podem ser mais elásticas. And save on your infrastructure. E ganhar na infraestrutura. The other benefit which I was talking about is the Amazon machine images and standardizing your technology stacks. É, outra coisa que eu estava falando é Amazon images and and your technology stack. Just standardizing your technology stacks. Every single web application today has these things in the stack. Todas as aplicações eh, web têm eh, eh, essas coisas. And you have variety of different stacks like Ruby on Rails, Java, PHP and so forth. Python. E você tem diferentes stacks. So this is the Java stack which uses Hibernate and Log4j. Esse é o stack Java. This is a PHP stack. Esse é um PHP. And this is a Ruby on Rails uh, stack. Esse é um Ruby on Rails stack. Right? These are all open source software that you can bundle into an Amazon machine image. Esses são todos softwares livres que você pode juntar no Amazon. And there are different ways in which you can actually design these Amazon machine images. E essas imagens Amazon você pode juntar de formas bastante variadas. The first one I call the frozen pizza model. O primeiro é a pizza congelada, o modelo de pizza congelada. So let's say you are a central IT department serving lots of business department or let's say you are a subpro IT department serving lots of different uh, uh, government agencies. Por exemplo, você é, é da central 
do século servindo várias agências debaixo de você. So your your department is responsible for building these standardized stacks that all of the government agencies will be able to use. Então você é responsável por construir esse stack onde é, quem está debaixo de você vai usar. So you can have multiple different ways to do that. One is frozen pizza model, which is essentially baking everything into an Amazon machine image. Então, são várias formas de fazer isso. Por exemplo, o modelo de pizza congelada. Or the take and bake Papa Murphy model. I don't know whether you know about this. É, ou então esse modelo take and bake Papa Murphy model é o modelo de, de Mur Murphy. Papa Murphy é, pegue e cozinhe. Papa Murphy's is essentially in US that you, they make the pizza for you so that you can take it home and bake it. Papa Murphy é aquele é, cara lá nos Estados Unidos que vende a pizza, mas você leva ela para sua casa e cozinha. Or you can use no, a made-to-order pizza model. Ou você pode fazer um outro modelo é, do tipo é, faça um pedido. That completely creates an entire stack for you using scripts. Que vai criar todo o seu stack usando scripts. So let's say you are having a free and open source Java stack. Então, por exemplo, você tem um Java stack. So in the first approach, you would the, the, the frozen pizza model. You maintain, you put everything into an Amazon machine image, and you maintain multiple Amazon machine images. Então, é, aqui você usou o modelo a pizza congelada e você cria diversos modelos Amazon. For the second version, which is take and bake, you can bundle only the things that absolutely you need and, and, and don't need the things that keep on changing, like your code. O segundo modelo, você pega somente as coisas que você realmente necessita e, sem fazer alterações no modelo. So bundling an Amazon machine image these things and then keeping all the things that are changing in some other repository or your source control. Todas as coisas que são é, que são mutáveis você mantém em outro ambiente. And fetch everything on boot up time when you are actually instantiating. So you keep a golden Amazon machine image and when it boots, fetch your code. Então quando você boota você busca os seus códigos. Or you do a complete uh, made-to-order model where you have just enough operating system, just a Linux and a chef agent, which is an open source tool. Então você mantém só o Linux e o chef agent, que é um open source. And put everything else outside the Amazon machine. E deixa tudo o resto fora. And then Every single thing is sort of built through scripts. Então todo o resto é construído através de scripts. Like if a part, if it is a web server, install Apache in it, and that can be completely scripted. Então se for um web server pode ser é, totalmente scriptado. Using simple scripts by the chef agent, which is a very good open source tool. Esse chef agent é um é, é, open source ferramenta muito boa. So you are, re -cre you are creating your Amazon machine image dynamically. Então você cria a sua máquina Amazon dinamicamente. So the, obviously the idea is it is more easier to maintain and control. Então obviamente é mais fácil de controlar e But fazer this, manutenção. As you move up, there are easier things to set up. E se você subir, vai ser mais fácil o setup. Like you can do Amazon machine image with one click and create the image using the console. Como fazer a imagem Amazon com um clique. So, I'm going to skip this part because this is essentially elasticity and auto scaling. What it is saying? Eu vou pular essa parte porque é essencialmente elasticidade e auto escala. Is that you can now align your demand more closely to the infrastructure. Você pode se alinhar mais de acordo com a infraestrutura. 
and not lose any customer because you are having the infrastructure very closely aligned to your actual demand. Sem perder clientes porque você mantém sua estrutura de acordo com sua necessidade. So you can do things very interesting, like one job is taking 500 hours to compute on for uh, on, uh, on one machine. Now you can get five one job, the same job, computed in 500 machines and compute that in one hour. Você pode fazer coisas muito interessantes, como por exemplo é, uma tarefa que precisa de 500 máquinas, você pode fazer em 500 máquinas usando é, uma hora só. Aí você tem as 500 horas máquina. At the same time, the time to provision a server reduces dramatically. E a time to provision a server é, redu é reduzida dramaticamente. It used to take more than seven months usually once you write, fill up a form and get the server actually ready. Esse trabalho até conseguir o server, o servidor, now you, leva sete a oito minutos. Now you get it in five minutes. Agora você Less. consegue fazer tudo em menos de cinco minutos. So let me tell you a story. Vou contar uma história. Uh, this is New York Times project. Um projeto da New York Times. The senior man, senior architect of New York Times had a project in mind. O arquiteto senior do New York Times tinha um projeto em mente. It had articles from 1851 to 1922, the actual newspapers. Ele tinha artigos escritos desde 1851 até 1922. There are these TIFF images that had to be converted to searchable PDF files. Ele tinha arquivos TIFF que precisavam ser convertidos em PDF. There are 11 million articles, 4 terabytes of data. 11 milhões de artigos, 4 terabytes de dados. So he went to his senior management to ask for compute resources. Então foi até o gerente para pedir recursos de computação. And uh, the senior management said, okay, we'll approve and you can get three machines for a period of one year and do your computation. Então o gerente senior falou, tudo bem, você pode conseguir, a gente te fornece três máquinas para fazer o seu trabalho. Obviously he was smart. É... É, ele foi muito inteligente. So what he did was instead spun up 100 EC2 instances. Então ele é, spanou 100 instâncias. Started started 100 EC2 instances for a period of 24 hours. Por 24 horas. Computed and converted this 4 terabytes of data into 1.5 terabytes of finished PDF files. É, pegando é, todas aquelas 4 terabytes de dados in 24 hours. Em 24 horas. Which was so going, which was taking one year and three machines. Now it's going to now it happened in 24 hours and computed all this job in one day. Então, o que teria que ser feito num tempo de um ano, ele conseguiu em três dias. The best part is that uh, he felt this is too good to be true. A melhor parte é que ele achou que isso era bom demais para ser verdade. So he ran the whole thing again to find out whether it really worked. Então, ele fez tudo de novo para ver se realmente isso funcionou. So... If you understand this whole project, there are two things. One is he is able to get to the market much more quicker. Dessa forma ele consegue ir ao mercado muito mais depressa. One year versus one day. Um dia em relação a um ano. And how much did it really cost? E quanto é que isso custou? In 1000 EC2 instances times 10 cents an hour. Times 24, $240. $240 dólares, se fizer a conta. To compute. And for a size of New York Times, this is peanuts. E para uma empresa do tipo New York Times, isso é, é banana. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you saw that he used all open source technologies 
to actually do a project, a large computation for the for the company. Então ele conseguiu é, usar recursos é, muito grandes para a empresa. And this impressed the boss so much that they are actually having a live service, a paid service called timesmachine.nytimes.com. Isso impressionou tanto o chefe dele que agora ele tem um serviço Times Machine. Uh, NY Times, New York Times dot com. New York Times dot com. Likewise, how many people know about Netflix? Quantas pessoas aqui sabem sobre Netflix? Netflix is one of the largest uh, movie rental and streaming business. É uma das maiores locações. They are running 100% on Amazon Web Services. Eles executam tudo 100% na Amazon Services. They have any time when the new movie comes, uh, uh, any time a new device comes along, like the Android or iPad 2. Or, Toda vez que um novo dispositivo como Android e iPad 2 aparece. They have to transcode all the video that they have into the format so that they can play in this de in these devices. Precisam de decodificar tudo de modo que eles consigam. And they use it for the elastic purposes to to transcode all that video. Então eles usam toda a elasticidade. They're also hosting their entire website www.netflix.com on Amazon. Então, eles também estão hosting é, todos os seus é, é, www. And it is not just about the services that Amazon provides, but this is the entire ecosystem that that is it is around 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 Amazon Web Services. Então esse é todo esses são todos os ecossistemas que a Amazon possui. All about free and open source software stack. Tudo sobre software livre. You can see you no know, Sugar CRM, Drupal, WordPress, you no know, Radiant, Alfresco, all open source software. Todos esses são open source software. That you can bundle and use around from team members, between team members. Então você pode fazer uma distribuição entre os colegas de trabalho. So the cloud is not really about just the services, but it's actually the entire ecosystem around it. Então isso é tu, todo um ecossistema. And that's what makes it really cool that free and open source movement has accelerated due to the cloud. Então, o software livre, é, consequentemente, acelerou muito devido às nuvens. And also vice versa, that the cloud is accelerated by the free and open source software. E também pode se dizer que as nuvens são aceleradas pelo software livre. So the last takeaway that I have is, you no, know, uh, start playing with it now. Então o que eu tenho a dizer é pare de jogar agora. Start a new account, just play with the technology. I understand there are lots of regulations around with with uh, government uh, officials. É, faça a sua própria conta. But put a simple blog website of your own or a simple website for your own personal thing. Faça algo pessoal, como botar um blog é, próprio. There is this web management console that I showed you, as well as there are these simple SDKs that will help you get started very quickly. Então, esses são os aplicativos que vão ajudar vocês a começar bem rapidamente. And be ahead of the game by understanding the cloud and the benefits that it provides, because this is clearly the next generation of IT. Está na frente conhecendo o que realmente vai ocorrer em bastante breve. Moreover, it is free to get started. E não custa é, você começar, é livre. All these services have certain usage levels that is offered for free to anybody. Todos esses serviços podem ser é, adquiridos livremente. And there is no data transfer cost going inside the data transfer data in. Não tem transferência de custos. So you can you now build a small little website, play with it, experiment with, and be the really the the uh, 
just like Web 2.0, be the audience 2.0 to try it out. Então experimentem e vocês é, vocês vão gostar. So this is what I have today, just the five simple takeaways that I talked about today. Então aqui estão as cinco coisas é, a respeito do que eu conversei hoje. Flexibility is the most important thing in the cloud when you choose the cloud. Flexibilidade é a coisa mais importante das nuvens quando você escolhe ela. You should be able to run any operating system, any uh, Linux uh, operating system in the cloud. Você pode rodar qualquer sistema operacional. Free and open source software is actually increasing and accelerating the cloud movement. É, open source está acelerando bastante as nuvens. Elasticity is the fundamental property of the cloud. É a propriedade fundamental das nuvens, elasticidade. Cloud is growing very rapidly because of the free and open source software that is available and the ecosystem behind it. Cloud está crescendo demais por causa do software livre por trás. And start actually leveraging these benefits so that you can start playing with it so you can give that example to your organization. Comecem a usar isso aí para dar exemplo a outras pessoas e a, a sua empresa. And be the leader here. E seja o líder aqui. Yeah. So thank you very, very much. Uh, this is my email address. Obrigado. Esse é o meu e-mail. I only knew uh, two words. It was hola and obrigado. <laughs> but then I, but then, I did a, uh, then I did something interesting. It was... Ohata hueo ahopa do hai de homa. To learn a little bit more. So, anyway, thank you very much for listening. I would love to take any questions that you might have. Muito obrigado por ouvir e eu vou responder com prazer qualquer pergunta que seja feita. Good. If there are no questions, does that mean that uh, did I do a good job or did they not understand? Qual que é a, a no caso a tecnologia principal que a Amazon usa e se a Amazon pretende transformar toda essa interface em software livre, por exemplo, to, todas as tecnologias ela pretende abrir de alguma forma para comunidades? What is the main technology Amazon uses? Uh, e uh, if you want to, to, to open all the, the applications that you use, like the GUI and the other frameworks to the community? Uh, so, the technology is very simple. It is, they are using Zen as the virtualization framework within our service called EC2. Um, nós usamos o Zen. Zen virtualization. The community Zen virtualization or, 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 or the C3 Zen? No, community Zen, yeah, open source Zen. Zen. Right, all right. And you can bundle any operating, any operating system and any software into your own Amazon machine image. So you can share your own Amazon machine image between your team members and as the central IT department of, of the government, SERPRO, you can build these Images which is highly secure, you know, set up with perfect scripts and blessed with your IT security policies, uh, make it available to the entire government agencies. But, and and the, the applications that manage all of this infra infrastructure uh, out of the Zens, uh, does Amazon plans to open this code or? Publish something, or that's something. That, that's that already available. Zen is already open source, but Zen is not the cloud. Is not just about Zen. Of course, I agree what you're saying. Cloud is about this metering, the billing, the infrastructure actually itself. Right? You're getting this infrastructure, the metering, the powering, the the, the, app, the API layers, the authentication, the authorization. All of that is what what really matters uh, to, to a lot of people. 
we are looking at variety of different places variety of different regions as well so now there are you know india china australia brazil all of these are high candidates for us to come and provide this infrastructure within the country as well question i have seen that you have shown uh, you have shown some apps so my apps on systems that are apply uh, that are now implemented on ec2 correct like wordpress and media wiki and subversion and mercurial got it uh, but for example i want to use ec2 but my in my work I, in my job i use not mercurial i use git do you use what word uh, it's an example not example do you i use git the git G G uh, G I T G W T no G of oh, GitHub oh yeah yeah Git okay and I use Git or I don't I use a custom a custom system a custom CMS yeah uh, I need I can implement them on my my cloud uh, as my wish or I need uh, some blessing from Amazon you that's the beauty about the cloud the example that I showed you. was that community is taking the free and open source and creating this amazon machine images but you can take your own amazon machine image or any blank amazon machine image with nothing on it but the operating system and then install your own cms create your own amazon machine image and share it with your team is that did i answer your question yeah i thought that was a little okay If I didn't, please let me know. I'll... Any other questions? Any other questions online? No questions. Yes, sir. Does Amazon tend to uh, to create this infrastructure here in Brazil? Um, we are. That's the reason we are here as well, right? We are talking about it, and we absolutely understand that there is going to be latency when you contact the servers in. um in united states or in other parts so we are absolutely thinking about all the different geographies including south america and brazil uh so lots of customers today are already using uh amazon web services globo uh there are several uh, globo abril there are several different customer there are several um uh, uh large companies as well as startups Uh, that are already using Amazon Web Services in United States. So we are definitely thinking about Brazil and other uh, uh, other countries as well.